All right, man. Congrats on the big win. Going Thank out you. there, get a split decision. Overall, assess the performance tonight. Um, I was really impressed, you know, Tyron Claxton is a tough opponent. He had really good um, clinch control, you know, but every single time I tried to swing, he just closed that gap, tried to keep me in the clinch. I didn't feel like he was progressing anything, he couldn't really do anything from there. I was getting in my head a little bit, but I managed to stay composed and um, carry on working from there. First round, you even took him down, uh, showing me you, you've got some pretty good wrestling yourself there. Yeah, yeah, he's a NCAA. You know, I never, I competed a little bit of freestyle back in New Zealand when I was 17. Um, but I'm glad I got in there and took him down and showed the world that I can wrestle with the best. And I saw you guys shake hands afterwards. I know there was a lot of chit chat back and forth in the lead up to this fight. Uh, you guys leave it in a respectful manner? Yeah, so uh, originally I missed weight and everyone know, you know, and um, I tried my best to make the weight and uh, I'm, I apologize for missing weight, you know, it's very unprofessional. And, um, you know, in the way in, he wanted to get in my face and try to get in my head about me missing weight. So I just, I just flipped it on him. You know, we had some back and forth banter as you do. And then uh, when I got in the cage after the fight, you know, I just apologize to him and be uh, professional about it. And do you think that's a problem that you can fix going forward? Do you feel comfortable with this weight still, you know, next time out or? I 100% I feel comfortable with this weight. The problem is, is I was competing Jiu Jitsu and it was, uh, I don't know when fighting was coming back. I was competing at 185 in Jiu Jitsu, weighing in at one, 165, 168. And I was just eating as much as I can because that was the only tournaments I could do in Jiu Jitsu. So, um, that was the reason why I came in a little heavy, but now that fights are back, I'm back in the camp, back eating healthy, and my weight will be down, ready for 145 in the next fight. Obviously, the scorecards were a little bit all over the place. When, uh, when you got to the judge's decision, you heard it was going to be a split. Were you pretty confident it was going to be you? So, at first, I don't know how the judges were looking at it. If they were looking at it and who was more active, I knew I was going to take it because I was looking. Every single time he broke, I swung. You know, I wanted to fight. He just kept me against the cage. I couldn't manage to slip him off. And um, I was looking for options the whole time. So I was just thinking in my head, how, how did the judges look at the scoreboard? So, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, in the first round, you took him down. He ended up on top. You ended up to be as calm as he was in the end of You know, I knew he was tough. Wrestlers, the one thing about wrestlers is they're tough. You know, especially if they're NCAA, they there'd be some good wars and wrestling. So I knew that when, no matter what position he was going to be in, he was going to stay focused. You know, when he was on his, um, I passed his guard, I got him mount, started striking a little bit, he turned and gave his back. I went for the neck. I wanted to see in my corner, I wanted to know how much time I had to see if I could catch the submission in time. There was only 30 seconds left. He was defending the grip, so I knew I was trying to transition to the armbar, but I was stuck against the cage, so I couldn't. So it was just like, um, I was kind of frustrated. I was like, I wish I had like one more minute there, I would have been able to catch it. Exactly. Uh, so, in, in his world, you were very tough. Yeah. So, I was super calm. I have an amazing wrestling coach, Justin Floyd, as uh, many people know. He trained uh, Wanda Rousey, Dominic Cruz, um, many fighters, many fighters. Uh, he's also trained many All-American wrestlers. Throughout this whole camp, he had All-American wrestlers on me every day. So I, um, in that position, I'm comfortable. You guys seen them out of the fights, I put them in the body clinch, and I take them down, and that's where I usually get my win. He managed to defend that. So well, it was good, it was a good challenge for me. Anyone, man, like um, right now I'm six and oh. Also, I'm only 22 years old. I'm early in this, in this world. There's not many people that are 22 years old fighting uh, fighting at this level. So you know, I'm taking my time, I'm in a rush. I know my body has a couple more years to go. So whoever they put in front of me, I'm ready. If they, if they want to put me in Mohican, the next fight card, I think it's in September, right? August 7th, I'm ready for August 7th, September, whenever. And I'm ready, so let's go. Oh, also, one more thing. I'd like to thank all my coaches, my, um, my, all my training partners, Justin Flores, uh, Johnny Correa, Janix, my coach back in New Zealand, Steve Oliver, and my team back in New Zealand as well. Uh, New Zealand top team, thank you all for all the support and all the training. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Thank you. Thank you.